Hi, welcome to the video demonstration of Bad Genie's cutting edge real time data pipeline and nonlinear model predictive control. As the setup for this demo, we have the Bad Genie's physics based battery model running in a Raspberry Pi microcontroller that is communicating in real time with the Arbin battery cycler. The model runs in real time in a feedback control manner. It collects the data from the battery cycler and updates the states in real time and implements the optimal control by calculating, by controlling the anode over potentials such that it minimizes battery degradation. So let's look at the real time uh, control. To quickly introduce the views you see on your screen, on your left is the Grafana dashboard showing a particular channel number, channel 13 in this case of the Arbin cycler. On the right is the software window of the Arbin cycler that is currently cycling the cells at the current specified by the model. As you can see, the voltage and current is read by the controller in real time and is displayed in the dashboard. The data from the test is captured continuously and the dashboard is updated in real time. The cycler test itself is programmatically controlled by the code running in the controller, but we will keep that discussion for another video. This setup now allows us to view the cycler data in a browser that can be accessible from any device, anywhere, even a cell phone. In the top left, we can specify the location of our battery cycler if they're placed in different cities, etc. We can specify the cycler type, and within the type, we can specify the particular channel for which we wish to look the data. Towards the top right, we can select the time window we wish the data for. We can look at the data for a shorter time or longer time, depending on our requirement. The independent panels below show the measured voltage as well as the predicted voltage by our physics-based model running in the controller. Next to it is the current being implemented on the cell. Towards its right is the solution time of our physics-based model. We should note that it is in milliseconds in which it updates the model states, calculates the optimal charge profile, and communicates with the cycler to implement it on the cell. Next to it are the error in the predicted and measured voltage and the percentage error in predictions. If we zoom in on a particular charging period of the cycle, we can also look at the over potential at the anode as predicted by the model. That needs to be controlled to avoid lithium plating. So we notice that the charging starts with the maximum current of six amps in the beginning. Six amps being specified as the max current for the optimization problem, and then it starts to go down when the, over, the anode over potential constraint of four millivolt is activated. The current goes down to meet the anode over potential constraint. This is an example of real-time nonlinear model predictive control in which the model acts and updates based on the data being collected in real time from the battery cycler. Controlling the over potentials can lead to significantly improved battery cycle life. The states are updated based on the measured voltage on the left, and you can see that we get a very good match between the predicted and measured voltage while simultaneously controlling the over potentials. This data pipeline can be used to view other states, such as the concentrations, liquid, as well as solid state potentials, differential capacities, etc. We can add additional constraints on the battery temperature as well but we'll keep that for another demonstration. Please contact us to know the details on how we estimate and update the states, as well as methods to solve the optimization problem. Do let us know your feedback and please reach out to us through our website if you think this is useful for your applications. Until then, keep charging and stay safe. Thank you.